landing a body shot slash low blow, depending on what you think it was, which put Alexander Yusik down immediately. This is where the controversy comes in because the referee ruled it a low blow and not a legitimate knockdown. And Alexander Yusik was then given three, four, maybe five minutes, I can't remember what it was, to regain himself as is protocol for a low blow. He then came back, won the fight quite easily, and a lot of people on the side of Dubois say that was a legitimate body shot. This guy should be the new heavyweight champion of the world. So I want to go and get some data, and hopefully we can all come to the same conclusion. So I'm going to base it on the rules themselves, the video footage, his immediate reaction to when he took the shot. Does that line up to other body shots? Is it in any way different? What his previous character tells us, like what do we really think Usyk would do, given all of the footage we've had of this guy boxing for over a decade. And then, what happened in the fight? Did he show more of a weakness there? Was that a legitimate body shot, or was it so low that when he was landed with other body shots, it didn't impact them? Because if the, if the damage was done there, it should be repeatable. So the first thing I'm going to bring up is a referee. So this is uh, a clip of a referee explaining during the boxing match what is legal, what is not. Here's the foul line, and that is the foul line. Any blows on the belt are foul. So he says any blows on the belt are fouls. I've heard boxers say otherwise. I was talking to PJ uh, Flores, the guy who fought Tony Bellew, trained Jake Paul, very high level boxer. And he said, look, on the belt is c considered generally okay. But obviously the referee is saying differently there. I'm going to try and look up the laws. According to Google, an illegal low blow in boxing is when someone lands a punch below the opponent's waist. So generally the belly button is considered the midpoint and below the belly button is low blow it doesn't have to be a cock shot it can be just below the belly button and that's considered illegal however some boxers as you see with tyson fury and many others they have them really high up it's because he wants to hide his belly it's not for anything sinister he's got a massive gut this not this he's saying this is fine but that's where he had his shots is what he's insinuating right around the belly button area so if it's below that it's a low blow. And the issue is, is sometimes you don't actually have to hit someone right on the dick to hurt the crown jewels. Like, because of where your cup sits when you're boxing, someone can sort of catch you near there and it can drive the cup right up into your fucking insides. And it ain't a nice feeling. And I do think some people aren't really accounting for that. Like, some people say, well, I didn't hit him in the ball, so he should be fine. Like, it doesn't have to be bang on to weird conversation. But when your jump's getting fucking moved around, it ain't nice. So as you can see, the waistline is about here, and the thumb is pretty much on the waistline, and then these four knuckles are below the waistline. So if this was around here, and all of the pun all of the knuckles were landing on the waistline, I think it would be more debatable. But, you know, this is pretty much, you know, a low blow by what we're reading. Now, I'm not saying what's a, it's decided. I'm still, still open-minded here. But on this photograph, and yes, is his dick probably further down? Yeah, but does that mean he couldn't have impacted it in any way? No. That could easily have hurt. Even in slow motion, that's not nice. It's not bang on the balls, but it's lower than the waistline there, for me anyway. But again, I remain open-minded. Now, this is a picture someone's made of Usyk after the fight being interviewed, where you see his trunks are just below the belly button. There are other photographs which show that they are slightly on the belly button or a little bit over. Tony Value has chimed in saying anything below the navel is classed as a low blow in boxing. That is not my opinion. That's a fact and that's the rules. Again, using picture here with his belly button out for all the lads. Someone underneath has actually posted a picture of Usyk, but you can see there, even there, it's just on the belly button line, right? So that belt line looks about, what? Well, four inches and the fact that only Dubois thumb landed on the belt itself and the rest were underneath pretty much tells me that that by the law is a low blow so this is the point of impact um yeah i mean if his belly button is say here I mean, the, the majority of that punch is well below that. Based on the rules, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to be a defender of you. I'm just trying to find the truth. So this is another picture from the night where Dubois threw a lower shot again, different shot, and it's a straight right of the balls, basically, you know. So Yusik was complaining about this through the night, and a lot of people are suggesting that it was gamesmanship. It was a way, because he didn't like the body shots, to get out of this, and that he's a cheat. You know, this photograph shows how, how low Dubois was 
punching. I think people are being a bit harsh on you, sick, in my opinion. I know he was dropped once from uh, a body shot in the amateur, so that there is a weakness there. People are acting like we've discovered something now. Ah, that's it. That's how you beat him. And after the fight went on, Dubois kept targeting the body. It did nothing because a lot of those punches were legal shots and he was able to take them. I'm not saying he loved them. But if you've annihilated someone in a, from a body shot there for the rest of that fight, they're going to be vulnerable to the body. But he was able to take the other body shots, in my opinion, because the previous shot was much lower and the other shots that were landing, aside from this one and a couple of others probably, were legal. And if you've damaged someone that much, that weakness doesn't just go away after a few minutes of sitting down. I know people are saying he complained about AJ's low shots as well. That's because when boxers are throwing body shot after body shot and trying to target it, sometimes you do throw the odd low one. I just don't think it's fair to say that Usyk is a cheat based on this one thing where clearly, by the rules, not by what I'm saying. It was a low shot. So th Those are the words of True Jordy. Uh, shout out to him and his podcast as he breaks it down um, the best way he could. Made some good points. Um, me to counterpunch. I must add to that. Okay. First off, when you're talking about a low blow, Okay, the rules state anything in the hip area is a low blow. Anything between the navel is a low blow. As you guys seen, the referee showing that on the belt is illegal. So what does that tell us? Up to the discretion of the referee. Up to the discretion of the referee. Okay, that pretty much dictates where the, 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 the low blow is in their mind. Because obviously, this is a debate. This is not a, hey, no, it was there. It's simply there. People have different body shapes. People's navels are different. People have higher trunks. The perception is unreal. It's endless, okay? But one thing I must add, okay, also that the referee did not tell these fighters where that is, okay? So that's based on what they feel the low blow is. Of course Daniel's gonna feel it's right on the belt because that's where he landed and that's where his argument with is and that, damn it, that's what he, he's sticking to it. That's his story, right? So that's it. Whereas Usyk saying, no, it was low, of course, because they have an argument in the fight too, why? Because if he did admit, oh, it was legal, then everyone that either hates Usyk, loves Tyson Fury, all the black people that love Deontay Wilder and other black people are going to say otherwise. See, you're not supposed to be champion. And that's what I see happening. That's all I see that's happening. Everyone's getting divided and I'm seeing it's conveniently going towards this 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 decision based on what the person looks like and who you're a fan of or and where you're from so nationality race okay and favoritism that's what's happening that's my problem with it okay yeah i like Usyk too but i also expected danny dubois to do more i gave him a shot but i was disappointed and you guys know why because he quit he didn't take shots that I think he should have taken. He got hit with harder shots uh, earlier, and he went down from a jab. Okay, that's going to that's an issue I personally have with Danny Dubois because people were talking shit at Dubois. I was trying to defend Dubois, and Dubois was making me look like a jerk off. You know what I mean? Because now I'm saying, hey, no, man, he we, he did break his eye, but I I acknowledge he did quit as well. And then now he did the same thing. Okay, well, you're uh, habitual, okay? Now, moving forward with the area, what Drew Jordy said, like, you don't have to get hit in the dick for it to hurt. And that's absolutely true. In fact, I'm going to put my two cents in, my counterpunch. In fact, like I showed you guys in my live stream, there is your bladder and there is your prostate. You don't want to get hit in that area. And if anybody knows anything about wearing cups, that cup is connected 
to your belt. When you get hit on your belt, that's almost like getting hit from the impact. Here's your belt, the guard. So the belt, the guard, right? Then you got your jump down here. He gets hit here, okay? That's hitting your bladder and your prostate. And basically, it's the reason why people in the amateurs or the amateurs official are trying to get rid of headgear because it's a target. That's also a target. Target, they don't want you getting hit in the head like that because that's a target. Also a target, okay? So if you get hit in that area, okay, you're going to, that's going to hurt. That doesn't supposed to feel good, but it is illegal. And guess what? It's up to the discretion of the referee because we have too many conclusions, opinions. So guess what? The ref called it, okay? But then it goes back to what? Oh, uh, was the referee, uh, he was white, so he went for the white guy and he gave the white guy the benefit of the doubt. I feel that the referee, okay, because I don't know how this man feels about other people. You know what I mean? I don't even know how he, I, I don't know. I don't know how he feels. I'm not a, uh, a psychic, okay? So I'm not even going to go down that road. Will I, out, will I overrule it? Um, I will overrule it for now unless he does something similar in another situation of the same. That's the only way that you can do that. The, you know, the process of elimination. Well, wait a minute. You've done this before. You know, you, now you're reputed. Okay. And people are now coming to the point where, hey, Usyk's a cheat. All right. Closing this video. If you call Usyk a cheat based on what the referee ruled, that's pathetic. You can say he milked it. Sure, yeah, he milked it. Of course he did. He milked it based on the rule because it didn't feel good for one and it legitimately, I feel, uh, he was hurt. A lot of people thought he played possum. Eh, am, I, am, I, am I overlooking that? Well, not necessarily because, you know, he did go down. The ref went with his reaction. Did he play possum like Evander Holyfield? You know, there is a lot of things. But then Usyk, you know, he claimed it had hurt. However, the last portion of that video showed Danny Dubois digging down to that same area. You know, but was it in the exact same area? So he took certain shots. Did he complain on low blows? Sure he does. We know that's a, a, a possible kryptonite area like Dillian White's uppercut. We know that. Okay, we're figuring that out. But he was able to take some. He did not complain on all of the body shots. And again, I give Danny Dubois credit for continuing to go to the body. Okay? Because if he says, well, hey, if he really went down uh, from a body shot, I'm going to keep throwing body shots. Okay? So this debate is ongoing and flowing. You guys tell me what you think of True Jordy's take on Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubois and the imaginary legal or illegal belt line debate. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.